Do you want to learn how to do this? Awesome, right? It's a basic fever detector on a thermal image, video or camera using Python, OpenCV and the background knowledge from our previous class where we learn how to measure the temperature from an image. As a starter project, we'll test our fever detector on your favorite Raspberry Pi. And in the next class, you will learn how to detect objects at night using PyTorch and YOLO B5. I have divided this class in three easy steps or parts to follow. 1. Thermal phase detection with hard cascades. 2. Implementing a fever detector on a thermal image or video. And 3. Implementing a fever detector on a thermal camera and your Raspberry Pi. Disclaimer. This tutorial attempts to estimate human body temperature using thermal images, but it doesn't mean that you can detect COVID-19 or other disease with the proposed methods. Let's start from the beginning that is tracking a face in our scene. 1. Thermal face detection with hard cascades. As you probably know, in computer vision there are basically two types of face detector. Those based on traditional machine learning methods such as hard cascade and histogram of oriented gradients combined with linear support vector machines and the rest based on deep learning methods, commonly convolutional neural networks. To simplify this tutorial, we'll implement the well-known hard cascade method on our thermal images that we have already tested that works well in this kind of images. Let's implement it. First, let's take a look at our project structure. As you can see here, we just need these three files. The first one is the gray 16 thermal image that contains a face remember the TIFF format from our previous class, then we have the Python code, in my case fever detector image.py, and finally we need the hard cascade face detector, in this XML format directly downloaded from the OpenCV website. First of all, open your Python file on your favorite IDE, in my case PyCharm, and then import the libraries OpenCV and NumPy. Then we load the gray system image as you can see here. And as we made in the previous class, we need to convert the gray system image into a gray 8 thermal image with these three lines. And we color up this image with our favorite color map or color palette, in this case the color map Inferno. And now we load the hard cascade face detector, that is the XML file, as you can see here. And now we are ready to detect faces in our thermal image with this line of code. And with this for loop, we draw all the bounding boxes around the faces. In this case, we only have one ugly face, my face. And finally, we show the results with these two lines. Let's run the code. And boom! Here we go. As you can see, we have detected a face on a thermal image and we have drawn the bounding box around the face. Now, if we want to do the same, but on a thermal video, we need to include a video sequence in our project, as you can see here. We use these gray system images instead of using a compressed video format such as MP4 because we don't want to lose our temperature values. Then we also need, of course, our Python file, in this case fever detector video, and then our hard cascade XML file. Let's code! First of all, we need to import OpenCV again and NumPy, but in this case we also need OS and argument parse. As you can see here, we construct the argument parser and then we indicate the parameter. Load the hard cascade face detector, that is our XML file, and then indicate the frame rate. As we are using the RGM Vision Thermalcam 1, we choose 8 frames per second. Now we are ready to loop over the thermal video frames, as you can see here, to detect faces. We use this for loop and we filter the gray system frames using the TIFF format. As you can see, then we construct the path, we open the gray system frame, converting it into a gray 8 image to serve the results using again our favorite color palette. Then we detect the faces and we draw all the bounding boxes around the faces. Finally, we show the results and we wait this time to simulate our 8 frames per second. Let's run the code and boom, here we go, say hello. Awesome. You can find more information about this awesome, affordable thermal camera at rgmvision.com. 
cool, very easy. Now we have already learned how to implement the hard cascade on our thermal phases. Let's move on to two. Implementing a fever detector on a thermal image or video. After detecting a phase, we just need to obtain the phase temperature. For this purpose, we are going to try to measure the temperature of the inner eye canthus to estimate the body temperature. Let's go! Now that we have detected phases on our thermal images with these lines of code, we define our fever temperature threshold in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Then again, we are going to loop over our phases with this for loop drawing the bonding boxes and then we are going to define our region of interest more or less like this as you can see our region of interest is a circle that includes the inner eye canthus first we define the circle origin and then the radius but now we have a problem OpenCV doesn't allow us to define a circle area on a gray existing image without losing our temperature values. That's why we are going to follow this small trick that I have invented. Let's go! In this image, we represent a gray existing pixel. And as you can see here, we want to split both bytes and then apply our circle operation and reconstruct or get the temperature values in a gray existing circle. For the eight most significant bits, rise it. Then, for the less significant byte, or 8 bits, left shift and right shift by dividing by 256. Then we are ready to apply our circle mass on both bytes. And finally, we create or recompose our gray system region of interest. To estimate the temperature, we get the higher value of our gray system region of interest. Then we calculate the temperature with this formula in Celsius or with this other formula in Fahrenheit. And with this if and the fever temperature threshold, we decide if our person has fever or not. Finally, we show the results. Let's run the code. And boom, here we go. The previous result only with the phase detection, the thermal phase detection, and the current result measuring our inner canthus region of interest temperature. Three. Implemented a fever detector on a thermal camera and on your favorite Raspberry Pi. First of all, we are going to access our thermal camera on a computer and then we'll use our Raspberry Pi. In this case, we just need these two files. The first one is our Python file, the fever detector camera.py, and the second one is our hard cascade face detector, that is our XML file. As you learned in the previous class, we need OpenCV and NumPy. Then we set up the thermal camera index, in my case, the number one. And remember that if you are on Windows, you need to use this flag. After that, we set up the thermal camera resolution, the camera to get the gray system stream and the raw data, and we load the hard cascade phase detector. After that, we define our fever detector threshold. Here, as you already know, we have our while true loop. We read each frame, we convert each gray 16 frame into a gray A frame, as you already learned, and then we use our favorite color map. Here we detect all the faces and we loop over all these faces, drawing the bounded boxes. Then we define our region of interest, as we have already learned, and measure the temperature. Finally, we decide if the person has a fever or high temperature value. And finally, we show the result. Let's run the code. I have plugged my RGM Vision Thermalcan 1, and now yes, let's run the code. Boom, here we go. Let me drink some cool water. As you can see, I don't have a fever. I'm in my right temperature. Now on our Raspberry Pi, as you can see in my case, the Raspberry Pi 4, we have again these two files. Let's open the terminal and move to this path. Then we are going to run our code. But first we need to plug via USB our RGM Vision Thermal Cam 1. Perfect. And now let's run the code. Boom. Here we go. Let me move this window. And say hello. Awesome. Very easy. Please, if you think this has been useful, Try to share this YouTube video with someone who might find this interesting. Thank you so much. That's all for today's class. To summarize, we have learned three important things. 
One, thermal phase detection with hard cascades. Two, implemented a fever detector on a thermal image or video. Three, implemented a fever detector on a thermal camera and on your Raspberry Pi. That's all for today's class and see you in the next lesson where we'll learn how to detect objects at night using PyTorch and Jolo Vita. See you in the next videos. Bye!